Hi everybody, it's Mark from Donnie Mott Leisure Kingdom. Thank you for joining me on Dress Down Day in the sunshine here at Donnie Mott Leisure in Hilton. So today I've got for you a uh, 2021 Swift Edge 486. So it's a six berth, six sleeper, six traveller motorhome on a Fiat nine speed automatic engine and gearbox. Uh, it's 140 horsepower and this vehicle does weigh 3650 kilograms so you will need to make sure you've got the class one entitlement or the c1 on the back of your driving license to be able to drive this legally um, it's a stunning vehicle that's been really really well looked after by the previous owner um, it's on this really nice sort of black cab uh, black and chrome finished fiat alloy wheels and it's done 5995 miles um, it's really really lovely it's got a reverse camera being the sixth berth, the driver's seat doesn't swivel, but the passenger seat does, because you already have that permanent dinette fitted into the middle, and it's got a pull-down bed over the driver's seat and passenger seat, so it will travel six and sleep six. Anyway, we'll get more onto the interior in a minute. So coming down from the driver's seat, uh, we've got your exhaust exit. Just underneath your lounge window, you've got your water fill just there, which is direct into the tank. Toilet cassette is just inside. And then a little bit further down, you've got your gas locker where inside there you've got space to have one bottle connected and one bottle as a spare by the side of it with a little bit of room to wiggle around if you need to. Um, it's got an end lounge, so there's two singles, two sofas that face each other and pull together into a double bed. And you've got storage lockers either side. And in this one, you've got the silver screens for the cab. So they're temporary silver screens for the privacy in the cab. Mm -hmm. And then you've also got the Alco detachable tow bar in there. You'll see because the wiring's in the back. Mm -hmm. When we go round to the rear of the vehicle, there's the tow bar electrics and there's your detachable tow bar point. Two bike bike rack. And then just at the top there in the pod, you can see it's got the reverse camera fitted there. On the passenger side of the vehicle, you've got the Truma boiler vent. So it's a Truma combi heater which runs off gas and or electric, whichever one you need. And then you've got the electric wind out canopy, which is very, very simple to use. And I'll show you that as well when we get onto the inside. Habitation door, nice and big and wide. And you've got your fly screen just on the inside there. Fold out step. And then just to the front here, we've got your electric hookup point. Now, going on to the inside. This vehicle doesn't have any carpets because it was used as a demonstrator originally. So they were taken out by the very first company that owned this vehicle and they weren't replaced. So they don't come with it. Uh, but down on the cab, you can see it's the nine speed automatic box. Reverse camera is attached to the rear view mirror. So that's digital and that comes on when you engage reverse or you can power it on while you're traveling to be able to see what's behind you. You've got cruise control on there as well, uh, a digital radio, and you've got all the controls on there for the air conditioning, the hazard lights, and a few other little bits and bobs as well as some USB sockets. Passenger seat will rotate as you need it to. And then above the driver's seat and passenger seat, you've got this, uh, does it not? The passenger. Let's have a look. Oh, it may not actually, with it being the sixth berth. No, so my mistake, passenger seat doesn't rotate because you've got the yeah, six seat dinette. So this pulls across and then you can drop your table from the level onto there, these little runners. That yeah. makes one of the double beds. Above the driver's seat and passenger seat, you've got another big double bed. And up at the back there, you can see there's the ladder. And then you've got this sort of safety cargo net, which sits nicely onto these little hooks here. Mm -hmm. stays like that and then if you're putting kids up there and they've got phones tablets toys that sort of stuff the netting will stop them from rolling out when you put the bed away you've got two harness clips either side one there and one there so you just connect them while you're driving and it will keep the bed up so it won't flop around over your head uh, tv point in the lounge as well so just there in a tv bracket and then you've got a little storage locker over the passenger seat and traveling seats as well so you've got six seat belts into the kitchen, you've got an oven and grill combi, three ring gas hob, and a microwave. Lots and lots of storage, plate racks, wine racks, and then in here, you've got your fridge freezer, which is three way, so that runs on 12 volt, 240 and gas. Storage locker underneath the sink, and then just here, I'm not going to show you from inside because the habitation door's open. This switch. is the switch for winding the canopy out, winding the canopy in. In, please make sure if you do that your habitation door must be closed um what i'm going to do quickly i'll shut the door wendy if you want to pop outside yeah. uh, i'll wind it out a little bit yeah. and then if you want to give us a shout wendy and i'll wind it back in
there we go so you can see the canopy is nice and clean and that all works so uh, running down into the rear lounge of the vehicle you've also got these uh, bench sheets that pull together into the middle to make another bed and then you've got this separation curtain so you can sleep two in the front sleep two over the cab and then sleep two in the dinette as well so that's six and you can travel six big storage locker just here and inside here we've got the infill cushions for the dinette bed freestanding table uh, so that's the table that makes the dinette table or the dinette bed yeah. and then just here you've got your aerial uh, signal booster for the aerial as well and then you've got the hanging rail when this is empty if you want to put your Sunday vest in um, just next along opposite the kitchen you've got your wet room so it's a toilet shower with a curtain that comes over the door uh, there's a nice vanity mirror in there good size sink and lots and lots of space there is a lot of space in this motorhome uh, I can move around freely in here um, and it's uh, just over seven meters in length um, so it's available to view it's available to test drive if you'd like, if you'd like any more information please feel free to give us a call the vehicle has just arrived on site and uh, yeah if you've got a vehicle that you're looking at part exchanging or selling to us we do buy in vehicles and we will take leisure items motorhomes and caravans in part exchange so for information give us a call and we'll speak to you soon hope you enjoy the sunshine thank you very much for your time